Greetings everyone, welcome to another episode in my survival world. I am in Seinfeld again, and you might hear one of the newest things in this world that I like to show off first because it's quite prominent, but here we go, and here I have a billion chickens. Yeah, um, just walk up through the back and walk back and you suddenly have three stacks of eggs or three small stacks of eggs I guess but um, this design of chicken this chicken farm design I saw on reddit a long time ago and I liked it because it did not use water to uh, capture the eggs and um, did not have the chickens sitting in water and that means that I won't have annoying sound lag or annoying lag when I leave 16 blocks away from that water's part. So I won't have that lag. Um, them walking on the wooden bits though is a little bit annoying on these wooden half slabs. Um, it, I am glad it sounds like it's wood but it is a little annoying and a little bit loud but I can get used to that. And up here is just where I throw the eggs in. I come up here, aim down, and throw them in. Um, because when I was down here and throwing them in, uh, they would uh, crack against the wall. I guess the right term for it. Break against the wall and the baby chicken will come out and immediately suffocate. So that wasn't very really good. So... I went up there and aiming down did a lot a lot better job and now um, I use like half of this a uh, lot of this chest to get that many num that number of chickens in I easily have that number uh, that's more than enough eggs back from just this one farm so I probably should set up a I'm probably going to not yeah probably going to set up a chicken farm killing area soon. Um, it'll be separate from this. This would be an egg farm and the actual chicken farm will be elsewhere. Um, but I keep grabbing eggs and I don't want to. But yeah, so I have a little chicken farm now and that's one of the upgrades I did. The second upgrade is the mob system. Yep, there's a second layer to the whole thing. Um, I did a mirrored version. So like in that, I'll just go inside. I guess I'll have to show anyways. But oh nope nope. Okay, so yeah, this nine by nine area with the middle cut out is on the left side, facing the center from inside the fields, and. I put it on the right side this time, so this bulge, this extra space it has, is going on the left side of the whole system and the bottom floor, the, yeah, the bottom floor is on the right side. And before I close it off though, I wanted to show that there are mobs flowing the wrong direction. I have to fix that. Um, but I fixed the issue with um, this part of it. I had it going down a layer. And I, the reason I did that was because it would have taken a lot of signs otherwise to fix. But since 1.3 came out and sign, um, sign recipes changed to make three, three per normal recipe instead of one. I went with more signs than normal, and it's fairly easy to grab all these signs, actually. Um, the longest part was actually digging out the area, because I still had quite a bit to dig out. And I just went back in and uh, cleaned up the bottom area with that part, and did the top area with the new design. Obviously, I'll have to fix that water current. I missed the sign somewhere in there. And the water is flowing backwards, but that is no problem. That could be easily fixed. And this is already lit up too. And that's yeah. As, as you can see, this nine uh, nine by nine little pad thing is in the opposite direction. And we have a raining roof in here now. 
So yeah, um, I'm gonna take these torches down before I hopefully don't get knocked into the streams. Ow. Okay. Let's get out of here. I'm feeling a little bit of lag in here. It might be all the particles. <laughs> um, most likely that. But um, I'm just going to get out of here and get moving. Um, I'm planning on doing a caving session soon. Um, I want that to be the next thing. It'll increase productivity on this. And I haven't gone caving in forever. So I just want to do that. I don't have stone bricks right now, but that should be good enough for now. Um, the reason why I did it reverse, though, is because I want to have a sort of disc shape to it, like make these round, but I didn't want it to be a perfect stack. I wanted it to be um, artistically... Um, separate disc overlapping in uh, angle like a bird shaped Y angle if you ever draw a stick figure bird you might or have seen one you might know of that angle but I just wanted to see what it might look like with perhaps iron blocks even curving around this part and meeting up at the end of there and then curving around this part and meeting up at the end of there and seeing how that turns out, I think it'll look cool. I'm thinking about an iron block and nether brick pattern. Some sort of dark color in contrast with the lighter color. Um, the lighter color would be the beam in the middle. The dark color will highlight it on either side. So that's what I have plans for that area. And these two things are pretty good changes. I like what I did with them. But the most significant change is over here. <laughs> I have a huge tower in sand fields now. Um, what was here before was a seed farm, a seed and flower farm that went maybe up to this block height and it's very old design I never used. I tore it down and while I will put it back up somewhere else, um, I will use a updated design that doesn't use um, uh, pistons to push glowstone into place. Yeah, I even had that. And um, I'll do it somewhere else some other time though. But here I finally started my passive mob farms. Um, I did just throw random chickens in here. Which, just because I had the surplus of eggs like I do now again. But oh, these, this is the results of the flower farm. Look at all these red and yellows. But see, I have a double layered floors. One is one side of it is for the grass. The other side is it for I don't have a dirt ceiling. Um, I have colored wools in here, so um, I could see what floor is which. Um, when I look up, I could see this floor would be cows. Um, I only have one cow here now. The next floor would be pigs. I have two pigs in here. Sheep. One sheep. And mushrooms. Mushrooms are going here. So there are seven passive mobs in Minecraft. Um, eight. Eight, I think. Um, there's squids. That's the eighth. But there's cows, pigs, sheep, and mushrooms. And then there's chickens, dogs, and cats. I plan on having dogs and cats a whole separate thing. Um, there'll be tame dogs and tame cats. And I'll just have bones nearby to breed them. But I won't actually do it. And since 1.3 and 1.2 are so buggy with the teleporting dogs and cats. Didn't want to add them in yet. So I just, I did not include it in this sign. Plus the design was reaching the top of sign fields anyways. So I didn't want to um, break through the glass dome. And these rails are temporary to get the animals into position. Um, these, these, this rail line starts towards the door of Seinfeld's right over here. And 
I have sheep here. Um, there, this is where the pigs and cow came from. Um, I'll need to gather another cow from somewhere nearby and the mushrooms. I plan on going exploring soon um, for a mushroom biome so I don't reach a crazy file, even crazier file size on this world. I'll probably use a third party tool to find it. But, um, is you and chickens here? Oh, yes, yeah, so there's, there's a ton of little, little things, little changes around here that have changed since last time. But, I just want to find the closest mushroom biome and not increase my world size drastically because it is already pretty big and I don't really want to increase it anymore. And that chicken is because I left the door open. But, yeah. Um, so there's another few things I want to show off into this episode on what I did differently since last episode. First one is I moved another portal down here. Um, when these rails are gone, it'll be a smooth walk right over. And I wanted to move the portal down because one, it was kind of in the way. I mean, it was in the middle of the walkway and I wanted to move it out of the way. And two... Mobs will be coming through the portal soon, so I want to make sure that that doesn't actually happen. So I did that, and we've done it like that. And also, I can now farm this nether portal. Um, behind it is a water stream, and the water stream leads to here, and into this little opening, and this will be my zombie pigmen farm. <laughs> yeah, Seinfelds will have every farm type. And this is a not a very good zombie pigment farm by any means, but zombie uh, science fields is never about um, production, production or amount of resources I could gather and how quickly I could do it, but rather that the fact that I can. And yes, I did get a zombie pigment in here once already. Um, not right now. I'll have to prove it some other time, obviously, but. Um, I will get zombie pigment in that area because th they come through the portal and enter the water. Well, then not through the portal, they just spawn by it and get in sucked into the water stream and uh, up onto the surface right there. And yeah, so uh, the main the main thing about this episode is I want to get things crafted. I want to get things done. Um, so I want to clear out my hot bar for now and put this stuff in so 33 glass will lead me to my first ever um, bottles these are my first ever glass bottles in the world and I want to record all my little first crafting things into this world as just a little token and with these bottles I'll create my very first water bottles um, I'm going to run out of space with that. And let me get out of here, please. Okay, so with this, I'm going to save three water bottles. And get the rest going. So put the water bottles in here. What I plan on doing is brewing all the potions in Minecraft, but not all at once. Um, that will be kind of boring for everyone. I'm planning on doing one type every episode I think I'm thinking this episode will be fire resist potions and something else is also also with awkward potions and the water bottles and glass bottles oh yes I do want to <laughs> save glass bottles um, so I have awkward potions now. So I'll put these in. Awkward potion, awkward potion, awkward potion. And I got all the ingredients for what I want in here. Um, water, put these in. Awkward's in there. Let's get all these going. I didn't have a absolute plan of doing these as fast as possible, but Okay, so we need two fire resist areas. 
two magma creams. I already had a magma cream before because I killed some magma cubes. And you just get them from a drop. So awkward potion. Let's put these in and get some fire resist going. As well as getting some... What did I want with all of these? I'm pretty sure I wanted to do this. I'm really not sure anymore. But my very first fermented spider eye, I wanted to create those. And brew those. So I have fire resist now. And you can't glowstone a fire resist. Because you can't have fire resist too. So I have fire resist. Which will become quite in handy in the nether. Um, and I'll soon have fire resist too. Let me get this out. I believe this is poison. I believe I was going to do two tiers. So now I have fire resist extended. So that's even more awesomeness. And let's put that in. This I think this is poison. Oh, weakness. And you can't have weakness too, but you can have weakness extended. So I wanted to create some weakness potions and extend them. And I believe these are meant to be speed potions. Um, because... Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're speed. Thunder! Yes! On camera thunder. Oh, yeah. Um, speaking of which, I do plan on farming powered creepers, but those will be once I begin ex doing more at the mobs, which will, it might actually be next time, depending, since, okay, I have weakness and weakness extended, let's put these away, but I think, I'm not really sure when I plan on doing it, but I know that I want to do it. <laughs> oh, it hit a tree. It hit a tree. Yep, indeed it did. Um, I've been lighting up this area more, and that's another story. Um, I died at least five times since the last video because my falling feather falling boots broke, and yeah. It just broke, and so I'm not really sure what I'm doing here now, so I probably will stop here. Um, actually, speed, speed, glowstone, and extended. Glowstone, yeah, that's that's the right word. Speed two and speed extended, and then plain speed. Actually, I have plain speed right here. Plain speed, speed two, and speed extended. Sweet. So now I have a ton of new potions, and I could do a bunch of stuff with them now. Um, I plan on using potions more. Um, maybe I'm not actually sure how I want to do potions, but I know I wanted to do potions the first time on camera, and now I have quite a variety in here. Um, not all by any means. I'm just forgetting what's supposed to go there. Um, my chart didn't fill it all itself in apparently I should have checked that before and I apologize but here's the funnest part of this episode and yes lots of crafting goes on in here um, the first thing I want to do is this so I wanted to make ender chest my very first ender chest this is a new thing so it's not like I waited forever or never needed it yet. I've been wanting to have this for quite a while. So my first ender chests are here. Um, I want to put one by my portal. Hmm. 
where to put this? Oh yeah, it's about the feather falling thing. I went to the end and enchanted three boots, all at level 20... This is an awesome thunderstorm. All at level 24. I can see the sun. I don't... Is this still raining? Okay, it is. Okay. Okay, but um... End chest. I'm gonna put my first one right here. And then I'll put in... Ender pearls. Ender pearls I could always use. And I could use them in a handy spot. And that's where I'll just put some in there for now. And probably keep a bunch of ender pearls in them for use later on. But that's my first ender chest. I'm excited to be able to use them, use them in my world. Um, the main reason I wanted them is minecart tracks. I like to have I like to have rail systems that has minecarts in the ender chest on each side. And once you reach the end, you can just put the minecart back in the chest. And you only ever need one minecart in your whole world as long as you have ender chests on each ends of the rails and that's why I would like that idea um, speaking of minecarts for storage mine uh, for first for furnace minecart there we go let's break it <laughs> and get the first that's that's a mistake again I wanted the first chest minecart, not the first workbench minecart. That, that makes me wonder why there hasn't been a workbench minecart, though. <laughs> Crafting on the go. Yes. But anyways, um, here we go with this. My very first dispenser. Yeah, I never used a dispenser on this world yet, which is kind of surprising. Um, been wanting to use a dispense dispensers on multiple things, but I never had enough interest to build them before, and now I finally have my first dispenser. So that's cool. Um, here you might imagine the first fishing pole. There we go. First fishing pole, first mine carts with chests and furnace. Put the furnace in. Um, the first written book. I have books already, but the first book and quill. And then the first written book. Yeah, all these grass sounds come from there and they kind of make me jump on every once in a while. Whoa, caps lock. Hello, world. Woohoo, sign. Enter book title. Hello world by I'm bad at N or what I prefer Dungon. It will no longer be edible. Okay. My first my first book. Hello world. It's actually my first book in both survival and creative mode. Um which is cool. And then the, the ever so awesome Sandstone Stairs. There will be a link to a video regarding sandstone stairs in the description. You should probably check that out. It's one minute long and very, very funny. Um, sandstone stairs. Oh, yes. Here we go. Seven. Yeah, I made pants before, but cauldrons I have not. So now I have a cauldron. Oh, yeah. Um, this is note blocks. I have a jukebox already. Um, it's up by the record farm in the 1.7 lands, and it has Milo High currently in it. But I never made a note block before. Um, so there's my first note block. Um, this you might... I don't recall if I ever made snow blocks. I do not think there's any project that actually has snow blocks in my world. But there's snow blocks now. And then... Hmm. I'll probably just fix it later, but I'll move it later, probably towards the ice machine. Um, for now, we could put it 
I don't know, it'll wander randomly anyways, so might as well contain it and make it sure that the snow doesn't get everywhere and have these torches instantly melt the snow. But for Snow Golem, hello, how are you doing fine faceless sir? My pumpkins don't have faces on them because I don't like the uncarved, uh, unlit pumpkin faces. But it makes snow golems look weird. I actually prefer their... Oh, what is this guy doing? Their inside faces more. The faces that I thought they were originally going to have. Um, but I can't see it because he's in the ground. Dang it. Evil little pumpkin. Okay. So let's finish up these craftings with some of the... Most substantial crafts in all of survival Minecraft. The cocoa beans? No. <laughs> but um, I do have, I did move my tree farm up here as I said I would. And I tore it down from down there. And I included all four types of trees now. So now I have all these four types of trees as farming. And now there's my first um, cocoa bean. Yay! You begin cocoa bean far farming. It will definitely not be on this tree. Um, this would be an iconic tree, probably not for chopping down, but just for the fact that I can grow jungle trees here. It was on the very first bone meal too, although these trees right next to it weren't there before. And yeah, I can now grow cocoa beans. Um, I'll probably include it somewhere non non dominating like the wheat farm or the melon or pumpkins and things like that but somewhere else like that and of course don't know what these are golden apples so here's the normal the golden apple we've been used to for many for quite a while um the normal nugget apple um this nugget apple is used in ultra hardcore using ingots but in normal survival it's nuggets and it gives regeneration for five seconds and then the notches apple it was finally re-added back to the game it is shiny it is awesome and it uses a ton of gold but I have no extreme use for gold um, I don't need the mountain power tracks um, but Oh yeah, I have Notch's Apple in my world. Let's remove that and put Notch's Apple right in the middle. Suddenly Ninja Creeper blows up everything. <laughs> Look at that. Nug uh, block, Golden Block, Golden Apple. I'm glad those are back added back into the game. When it was nerfed, it made a huge change in PvP and... Um, um, in direct fire, particularly, because it was the only one that really used golden apples. And with what they had as an effect before, 30 seconds of regen, that was very important. And it was reduced to 5. That was a pretty huge change in terms of PvP and the useful usefulness of the item. But anyways, I did a lot of stuff. Um, brewing, more brewing will come. More organized brewing, definitely. Uh, more quicker brewing but that will help with the quickness for sure <laughs> but anyways thanks for watching this episode it was kind of laid back today because been having a little bit of frustrations well it was a while ago but I'm overcoming it now and I'm feeling a bit better and I wanted to record when I'm feeling a bit smoother in attitude and things like that. And um, just wanted to share all these firsts. I'm excited with what I could do with dispensers and what I could do with note blocks and what I could do with ender chests and sandstone stairs and maybe fishing rods. <laughs> And iconic stuff like the golden apples. Um, 
Perhaps I'll include a little clip after this little cut about another first. I probably will because I wanted to get it started before I really want to um, get it started. But there we go. There's a pumpkin face. I'll leave you with that. This is the pumpkin face I wished was kept on the snowman. Snowmen. Snow golems. But this is Dungon, and thanks for watching this episode.